Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. I'm here. Hello. My camera is big. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yes. I'm happy. It's new. No, it's the same. I don't know what happened last night. It was. Uh, it was. It was Wednesday. <laughs> Era miércoles y la, y la computadora no trabaja los miércoles. Ya descubrí. El ombliguito de la semana. Sí, sí, va a ser. Quiero ver. ¿Cómo se dice? Hay una expresión. The hump day of the week. Aquí le dicen en inglés. The hump. hump. Ahorita le escribo. Hump. The hump day of the week. My dad. Eh, hump es la, ah. de, la, la joroba del camello. Ajá. Entonces, de hump day es cuando uno llega a cabal, llega arriba y ahí ya todo es bajada. Jueves, viernes. Sí. Ah, es la de la hump. Uh -huh. Como es llegar a la cima, exacto, de hump day of the week. Y nosotros, sí, lo, lo, nosotros lo conocemos con el ombligo de la semana, de hump day. Ajá. Yes, ajá. Sí. Vale, en este caso, eh, bueno, nos enviaron un mensaje en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí. Esta, esta es la tercera semana o es la segunda. No, la tercera, la otra terminamos. La tercera, la otra es la cuarta ya. Bien. Yes. Qué rápido he pasado el tiempo, Dios mío. <ríe> yeah, I mean, así es de rápido. Week is the final exam, Ajá, exacto. Ya ahorita, okay. si ven, ahorita estamos en la sección 4, que en esta mm -hmm. semana, o sea, hoy deberíamos de estar terminando ya la, los ejercicios de la 4, de la unidad 4. Y, okay. y este, ¿cómo es que se llama la otra? Yesterday we finished the first. Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, well, yesterday we finished, ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Eh, para que ya puedan hacer todos los ejercicios y todo, llenarlos y ponerles, ya ponerles la nota. Y luego el, la otra semana terminar las 5 y el, creo que el miércoles. A más tardar se debería hacer el examen para que ya el jueves ya estemos, el jueves solo hacemos un repaso de, de práctica oral. No sé, okay. de todos los temas. Ya. Pero la otra semana, lo que dan después de estas cuatro clases. Y si se portan bien hoy, les doy libre mañana. Si no, tenemos clase mañana. Ok, remember, right? Ok. Thank depends, you, teacher. depends on the participation. Ok. All right, good. Right? So then, that's the, that's the topic. Ok, so then, uh, send all the information. Manden ya todos los documentos que tengan, todo lo que les están pidiendo, porque es importante que para avanzar, para que salgan más rápido los otros niveles, los otros cursos. No se me que se atrasan más. Hay que esperar una o dos semanas para que comience el otro. ¿Okay? La idea es no enfriarme. ¿Okay? Continue with the, with the program. ¿Ok? Y hasta, yes. ¿Hasta cuándo es que se puede mandar lo de la ficha? ¿Hasta el 6 o el 7? Porque estaba viendo que la información que mandaron no pusieron, no pusieron fecha. Sí, hasta el 7. De... Bueno, o hasta el 7. Tómelo como lunes. Ajá, para mí que lo tome mejor la anterior, como seis. Y ah, o sea, la, ajá, siempre tratar de mandarla antes por cualquier cosa. Ajá, aunque ponga ahí siete. Gracias. Ok. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, good. And, let me see what else. ¿Qué tenemos? Only that. We're having a little issue. Okay, so we're going to start today with the uh, unit five. Loading, loading, loading. Section. Tell me about your family.
if you cannot see it, right? But you will be able to see it in a minute. There you go. Interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. All right. So then this, are, this is the information. The conversation. Right? So how to give information about Where do your family. And uh, remember that this is um, often, right, that it's not one specific uh, topic, like I was telling you yesterday. It could be tell me about your family, a specific people of your family, members of the family. And it could, um, it could also be about other topics, right, about your job. Uh, tell me about your hobbies, about your experiences. Uh, tell me about a, a good experience you had today. Tell me about a bad experience that you had uh, this week. Okay, so things like that. Okay, here. Uh, Fidel, could you please read this uh, objective here? Instructions. Look at the Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? Write the answers and the space provided. You just need to type the name, not a sentence. Do not include the period. The period. period. The period. The period. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one, for example, says uh, the write the answers on the space provided. And then you just need to type the name, right? Well, this is for the, for the answer. And it says, do not include the period. But that's the exercise itself, but we need to check here the family. Family what? Family tree. Okay, what is a family tree? Is... Yes is the tree where you can see where we come from, right? But before we, we do the, the exercise, we have to see, for example, the vocabulary, right? We have cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife. Okay, for example, we have here a grandfather and, the, and the lady, Grand, the grandmother. grandmother. Yes, the grandmother. Okay, so in their case here, we have Chris. Okay, uh, Sarah is the mother, and then Chris is? Father. 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 Okay, so here we have, for example, Sarah and Manuel are Andy and Martha's children. So then here we have Aunt and Uncle. 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 Right. Aunt. And then you have here the word uncle. It's uncle. Okay. Down here, we have Sam. We have husband and his wife. 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 His wife. His wife, right? And then we have brother and sister. And sister. Sister. Oh. sister. Sister, right? Brother and sister in law. Sister in law. Wait. 
Okay, we have Shakir again, right? Again, we have a husband and his wife, right? Five. Brother. And then we have Cows. and sister. Sister in law. Sister in law. We have daughter. Daughter, right? Then. Now, yes. is niece. 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 Uh -huh, we have the niece. 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 And then we have from brother in this one, we have, oh, this is the niece, right? Niece and nephew. Yes. There you go. Teresa is cousin. Oh? Cousin. Teresa is a cousin. Yes, it's a cousin. Uh -huh. okay. Cousin is here. That's correct. Okay, so the pronunciation we have cousin, father, grandmother, father. niece. Okay, this one is not for nice, this is niece. Then we have sister in law, uh, uncle, and we also have wife. Okay, uncle and wife. No problem? No. Okay. So then again, we have cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, wife, grandfather, mother, aunt, a husband, brother, and nephew. Teacher, where is, where is cousin? Cousin is the... Uh, the children of your aunt and uncle. Okay, for example, the mis tíos, the hijo de mis tíos. The, chi uh, the children of your aunt and uncle. Uh -huh, they uh, that's your cousin. correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And niece is the, for example, niece is the daughter of your brother or the daughter of your sister. La hija. Yes, of your, the, the, the ah, daughter of your Sobrino, sister. sobrino, sobrina. It's a girl, huh? She's called male, correct. Okay, same teacher. All right. So that's the name. I have a question. Here, uh-huh. Teacher, uh, will you write sister-in-law? Tenemos que poner guiones. Yes. If you have to hyphen here, yes. Sister oh, okay. in law. Yep. The okay. same is going to happen with brother in law, mother in law, a, what else? Mod father in law. Okay. These are, you know, like the ones that we say that uh, como la familia política, right? Mm -hmm. Because it, that's why uh, it's for late, not for, not for sangre, right? No. Now has to do with the blood. It's sister in law. Okay, father in law. Estás en familia por cuestiones legales. Okay. No problem. It's okay. Oh, Thanks. Good. So then we have uh, vocabulary, right? Remember family, and then we have this one here. Okay, in this we have Andy. Who is Andy? Grandmother. Andy. Okay, Andy is the man Andy here. Andy Grandmother. is Sam. Grandmother. Is Grandmother. Grandfather. Yes, and Martha is his? Grandmother. 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 Okay, there you go. Okay, aquí no hay que poner el punto, right? Porque ya está acá, right? Already here. Good. Next one. Chris is Sam. Chris is Sam. 
What is the, rela the relationship? Father. 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 Yes. And then Manuel is Sam. This um, uncle, uncle. Sam's uncle. Sam is married to? Uncle. Yumiko. To Yumiko and he is his? Wife. 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 This is why. The next one. Sam has a brother. Sister in law. Sam has a brother, Jim. Uh huh. And Lisa is Sam. And he's married to Lisa. And Lisa is Sam. Sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. And Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. Okay, she is Sam. Cousin. Uh -huh. Cousin. Cousin. The daughter of Manuel. She is Sam. Cousin. Cousin. Okay. What about Jim and Lisa? Have two babies, Kelly and Kelly Jim. Jim. This is Sam's niece. Okay, so we have grandmother, father, uncle, wife, sister-in-law, cousin, and niece. Yes. Okay, so you have a 10. Congratulations, people. Congratulations, teacher. Thank you very much, okay? You are a good teacher, <laughs> okay? You are a good teacher, so I am learning, okay? Then this is, for example, the, all the vocabulary that we have about family. Okay. Now, if, now I want you to think, for example, about your, think about a person that you know, or you can also think about a member of your family, and then you can say, for example, I have a, I have one brother, or I have two brothers, uh, then you're gonna tell me about your family, right? For example, you're gonna tell me how many brothers you have. For example, you can say, I have uh, four sisters, okay? They are married, okay? Uh, my oldest sister has four children, okay? Four girls, uh, two girls and two boys. Uh, my second sister has um, let me see, three, three children, one boy and two and two girls. Okay, and then I have in total, I have like ten nieces and twelve uh, nephews. Okay, and I also have four. Four brothers in law. Four brothers in law. I have four brothers in law. Uh, well, I have one mother in law. Okay. And then I don't have a father in law. Okay. He died. He passed away. I have one sister in law. Okay. So then you are going to tell me, for example, to tell me about your father. Okay. So you can tell me three or four sentences. Practice. Uh, the vocabulary, but try not to practice the, the, the same uh, vocabulary, right? For example, which is the most common vocabulary about family? Which is the most common vocabulary? Father, mother, brother, sister, sister. Father, right? 
Now, the less common nephew, niece, cousin, estos son los que menos practicamos, right? Nephew, niece, eh, cousin, uncle, uncle, aunt. Okay. Entonces, hablemos de cuántos tíos, primos, sobrinos, sobrinas, cuñados, quién, novios, whatever, right? Sure. Uh -huh. Can I get a uh, grandfather in law? Grandfather in law. Padrino. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Because I have a, a grandmother and she is married with other men that isn't my grandfather on blood. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Mm. Padrastro. Sí, no, pero no es padrastro porque es el abuelo. Abuelastro. ¿no? Abuelastro. Abuelastro. Ah, pero en ese, para los astros. <risa> este, ya, se, ya no se usa el in law, sino que se usa eh, step. Step. Step father. Step grandfather. Ajá. Este, ajá, podría ser como un step grandfather, cabal. Ajá, step father. Ahí está. Okay. Ese es el padrastro. Eh, hijastra, stepdaughter. Eh, hermanastro, stepbrother. Okay. Y ahí todos los conejos, todos los astros, astros. Lo, lo ocupan para, lo, para los, los parientes que son por, por ley y no por sí, sí. Ajá. Es que lo que digamos que son por ley son los que son, que son los que nosotros decimos mi tío político. O sea, oh. Esta es la eh, eh, hermana política, right? Esa es la sister in law, que es la cuñada, right? ¿Y padrino? Padrino depende. ¿Ah? Depende. ¿De qué? Sí, depende de qué, cuál es el evento. Si es el padrino de, de, boda. Ah. El de boda, el de boda no es el mismo padrino. No, pero el padrino de... Padrino de bautizo. bautizo es el Godfather. Godfather. Ajá, pero está, por ejemplo, el Godfather. Y ese es, bueno, pues digamos que ese es como un... Papá ah, el padrino, sí. Por, digamos, por una cuestión... De... <risa> y, ajá, y está el otro padrino. No, y está el padrino de, por ejemplo, de, de boda. Pero le decía, depende, porque el padrino el, el de boda, cuando dice es o la madrina, se dice best man. Okay. Uh, for example, he's my best man. Él es mi padrino. Okay. Las madrinas de boda. Okay. Padrino. I'm best man, right? And then you have what else? ¿Qué otra más? Así digamos que estas son como no. Eh, ¿Qué le era? No. Um, Not common, right? No, no, not legal. So you had the the best woman, okay? That's your one, okay? Teacher. Yes. Este, una pregunta, este, para sobrino y sobrina es la misma palabra, me. Mm, no. Oh, sí. Nephew and niece. Digamos que para sobrino. Padrino. Nephew, sobrino. Ok. Y okay. then you have niece. Niece es la sobrina. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando you have uh, in this case, eh, no, hay, no hay una sola palabra. En el caso de los hermanos, sí, sibling. But siblings, siblings. siblings. Uh, eso sí se puede para cuando tengo mis hermanos, se puede hacer una combinación de female and male. Okay, I have four siblings. I have four siblings, two brothers and two sisters. Okay, and then, or you can say I have two brothers and two sisters. Mm, Teacher, four, y, four siblings y, in total. Y, y para decir, por ejemplo, hermanas, ¿es necesario decir sisters con él o solo sisters? No, si son hermanas, así uh -huh. es. Sisters. Si uh -huh. son hermanos, brother. Uh -huh. Si tiene una hermana y un hermano y no quiere, hay un hermano, I have a brother and a sister. 
siblings. Siblings es para, digamos que para ambos. Porque acá en el en español decimos sobrinos y ahí van incluidas las sobrinas. Right? Tengo, ten, decimos, tengo 20 sobrinos, right? 10 niños y 10 niñas. 10 boys and 10 girls. Okay, then you make the difference. Okay, so then uh, this is what you're going to do, pero antes que hagamos eso, voy a tomar la foto for the attendance before anything else happens. Okay, here we go. Something happened. Richard. Yes. Just give me a second. Yes, si ah. grandfather, si godfather es, es padrino, godson es ahijado, no. Godson, uh -huh. goddaughter. Exactly. Exactamente. Godson. Si goddaughter. Godson, goddaughter. Mm -hmm. Ahijado y ahijada. Yes. Okay, one more. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, then, uh, ahora. Uh, I and, uh, huh, what is the question? Okay, um, the the child of my niece or my nephew. How can I say this? The child? Of a niece or a nephew? Then you will be like a grand, grand, granny, like a grand aunt. Right? Yes. Uh, yes. That would be, uh, that would be uh, like they a grand niece. Uh-huh. Como gran mis. Ok. ¿Qué sería eso? Sería en español. En español. Ok. ¿Cómo se dice en español? Sería la. Ok, thank you. Sobrino nieta. Sobrino nieta. Sí, abuela. No, para la sobrina. <risa> sí. <risa> sobrina. Sobrina nieta. Right? Mi so eh, bueno, en mi caso tengo dos sobrinas nietas y un sobrino nieto. <risa> Ajá, me too. Yo I have. No, yo tengo más. <risa> yes, sobrino nieta. Yes. So they are my grand nephew, my grand niece. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now think about your your family and quién quiere compartir. Who wants to share that? A volunteer. Just a couple of sentences, right? You know, a couple of sentences like I have, but no father, mother, no. Okay, try to use the vocabulary, right? Uh, for example, I have a grandson, a yeah, uh, granddaughter, uh, nephews, nieces. Just practice the family vocabulary. Um, yep. Yeah. In in my case, uh, we were six siblings, and well, because one of my sister dies uh, a lot ago, okay, like twenty years ago. So, and I have. Let me see. Uh, for fourteen niece and uh, uh, nephew by now okay i have just uh, just a child i adore him, and a boy my son and i don't want a uh, grandson and no <laughs> one granddaughter by now <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, 
is just fine with my grandniece and grand nephew that I have. All right. For my brother. <laughs> okay, good. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the mom say. Only that. Uh, okay, no problem. Okay. I, I don't know how many. I don't know how many cousins we are because uh, the family by my mother's side is very big. Mm -hmm. They were nine siblings. Okay. Everything. So I never took the 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 comb. I never, you ne I you never counted them. We are. Okay. No, <laughs> not counted. We are so many. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we only know that there are so much cousins we are. Okay. This so, is, the, but, but you know, but it's nice to have a large family. It's uh, good to have a large family. Yes, but we'll not live nearby. I I live. Well, it's uh, I, I am the neighbor of my mother, and with my mother, uh, uh, she lives with my little sister. <laughs> so we are very close. Very close. A great unity. Very close with my close family. Okay. But for the cousin, we only. It's, it's pretty sad we only see us when there is a, a, a somebody, a death in the family. Yes, a funeral, okay, only then. somebody passed away. Oh, well, yes, mm -hmm. yes, only on that occasion. So it's really sad that there is where we say, hey, how are you? <laughs> how is your life? Because- <laughs> How are you, alive? <laughs> <laughs> no, because with the, uh, another family, sometimes we go to that event more to the, okay, it's gonna go some aunt or uh, some uncle that we have a lot of time to see. Yes. To see them. Exactly. So. Okay, good. But you know, but that's, that's very common in all the families. That's very common in families. <laughs> Thank you, Henia. Okay, Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. Uh, Fatima, you have your hand up. Tell me. Well, I'm from a family of six. Uh, I have two nieces. They are twins. Okay. I have uh, one brother in love, and my mother, my father, and two sisters. That's it. Okay, very good. Not not very large family, right? That's good. Okay, anybody else? No? Maybe. Anna, yes, Anna, go ahead. Uh well my family is a small family. Uh I have uh, one brother and one sister. Okay. Uh, I have a uh, two niece and one nephew. Uh, my my niece is uh, little. Is little is very beautiful. Hmm. Uh, he is. Um, very cute very, very cute. cute yes um my my no seria one one niece my nephew my nephew is um adolescent he is a student in the university el salvador um he's very intelligent okay I have um, two sisters. The first uh, have a twenty-three years old. He too a student in the University of El Salvador. He uh, this year is the last year. Um, my second daughter. 
is 12 years old. It's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's very, very intelligent. Nice. Um, like mother, like daughter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do you say she is mi orgullo? My pride. She's my, my pride. pride. My mm -hmm. pride. Uh -huh. My daughter are my, my bride. Pride, pride, pride. Pride. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, people, who else wants to practice? Me. Uh, Andrea. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, Andrea, go ahead. Okay, and I have a daughter and I'm pregnant. And really? I have five niece. Five yes. I have five niece in the family. And at the moment we we don't have uh, any niece. So we hope that this this one this one will be a, a boy wow so congratulations thank you and uh, with my, my family is um, very big but my my sister don't don't want doesn't want mm -hmm. to have Charles. Children. Children. Yes. Um so for for part to my brother, she he wants to have um or to have more more children. She has two girls. Um the same with my my cousins, they they don't have a uh, they don't have children and they don't don't want. And they don't want to either. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay, people. Vamos a hacer tíos. So Andrea is going to have a baby. <laughs> okay. Good. Nice. Okay. Hilda. Daniel. Neida, who wants to? Brian, Ernesto. Hey, teacher. Uh, Ingrid, okay, Ingrid. Okay, I have two brothers and one sister and one nephew, one niece, and a great grandmother, too. Wow. And three aunts and one uncle. And right. Scouting's. Yes, okay. everything. <laughs> That's good. Very this nice. Thank you very yes. much. Okay, good. Excellent. You're okay, Ernesto. And then Ana Rebecca. Uh, my family is a small family. Uh, I have three siblings, two sisters, and my twin brother. Uh, anybody have have. Uh, sons, only uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I am uh, the only one who married. Uh, I have some aunts and uncles, but not don't live here. Uh, my family, uh, my family really is the family of my wife. Okay. Uh, That's your real family. Every family, I visit my my parents and my brothers on weekends, but not 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 often. I visit and call it once a, once a week, but it's no we not frequently no no don't don't see don't see us don't see okay. don't visit. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. That's good. Nice. All right, Ana Rebecca. My family is big. In my house with my mother, my father, I have two sisters and one brother. I have one niece. I have 11 years old. 
um, need to get all. I have one sister-in-law and have one brother-in-law. I have one grandmother and six aunts and two uncles and eight cousins. And eight cousins. All right. <laughs> good. Excellent. What a large family you have. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you were you were counting them. Okay, when you have a party, it's very nice. You have like 100 presents. No. And Rebecca, in your, in your birthday, you have like 100 presents. No nos reunimos mucho porque ellos viven bien lejos. Entonces, no, no podemos ir hasta ahí. Okay, a lo que venga para su cumpleaños, nada más. Ok, nadie dice que. Bye bye. Pero para mi graduación la tuvieron como. 20 o 25. Ok, good. Yeah, that's it. Y hágalas de sobre para que le den dinero. Así fue. All right. You see that later. Take advantage of large family. Ok. That's an advantage. Good idea, teacher. Yes. That's, that's la ventaja de la familia numerosa. Ok, yeah. good. And then, what else? Ah, Ernesto. You're, you're, Ernesto. Ok, he's not. He says that he's twin, right? He has a twin brother. Hello, Ernesto, can you hear me? Ernesto, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, you, you said you have a twin brother, right? Right. Uh, are you identical twin? No, no. We just are different. Twins. Okay, just, just, just twins. Mm -hmm. Just twins. There is one that is identical twins, okay, that you are exactly the same. Okay, good. Right. Excellent. Anybody else? Esmeralda? Caroline. Me, teacher. Ah, okay, Edwin. Edwin and then Esmeralda. Okay. I have a short family. All right, a small, small family. A uh, small family. I have one brother and one sister. Okay. They are older than me. I have three nephews and two nieces. Okay. I have four cousins. Two of them lives in Canada and the others live here in El Salvador. I have not uncles, aunts, or grandparents. All right, good. So that's, Only. that's a real small family, okay? Advan okay. Is there an advantage? Uh, pardon? Is there an advantage uh, of having a, having a small family? ¿Cuáles son las ventajas? Eh, los regalos de Navidad son pocos. <laughs> ok. Y, y esa es ventaja y desventaja, right? Sí. Ventaja para dar, pero desventaja para recibir, right? <laughs> you only have a yes. yes, that's true. Ok, good. Uh, Esmeralda, ready? Yes. Ok, go ahead. Um, my family is small. Two sisters, um, one nephew, a two nice niece. Two nieces, two nieces, one nephew and two nieces. Two nieces, two nieces. Okay. Aunque no viven aquí en el. They don't live. Okay, they don't live. They don't live Stand in El Salvador. They don't live in El Salvador. They don't live. In El Salvador. Okay, very short, very small, very small family. Okay, short, short, in, short information. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no problem. Eh, Bernardo, I saw Bernardo somewhere. Yes. Ah, Bernardo. What about your family? Okay, teacher. I have three brothers and one sister, and I have a, a, a grandmother, a family father, and my mother. And uh, I have uh, four aunts and three uncles for my father, and I have uh, 
three aunts and one uncle from my mother. From your mother's side. Mm -hmm. My mother, my, yes. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. how, how do you say uh, primo in English? Cousin. Cousin. Repeat? Cousin. Oh, okay, cousin. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Okay, good. Thank you very much, too. Okay, so then, uh, Herman, you have your hand up. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, uh, my family consists of, of my wife, a doctor and son. Uh, my wife works in co accounting. Uh, accounting. Uh -huh. Accounting. accounting. Mm -hmm. My doctor is 19 year old and I study graphic design. Design. Uh, design. And my son is 12 year old and okay. is in the seventh grade. Gra seventh grade. Seventh grade. Gra grade. Uh, grade. grade. Seventh. And I am math teacher in a public school. Cool. School. Okay. School. Math. School. Uh -huh. You are a math teacher uh -huh. at a public school. Oh, public school. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Herman. Thank you. Mm. All right, people. Yeah, we have uh, no more time. No, we can. But, but you right you know, for example, you know what is the uh, different forms, different forms that you can present the information about a family, right? You can give details, for example, you can tell what each person does. I have two brothers, two sisters. My older brother is a doctor. He is married, he has two children. Okay, that is, you know, giving more, more details, right? And you can give also general information. Okay, for example, I have four brothers. Uh, they are married, they have children. I have uh, 16 nephews and three nieces. So it depends how you want to uh, share that information. And then, okay, so in the next one we have, at the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuum. The ING form, the gerund. Okay, what are you doing right now? Okay, activities that we are doing in the moment. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. B plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb B plus ing for affirmative negative or questions when using the present continuous. 
So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. The Amazon. Your parents visiting this week. They're visiting my grandmother. Again. Where are you working now? Okay. Questions? As you can see, for example, these are yes, no questions again. But uh, you will see that they are using the verb with ing at the end. Are you, uh, are you living at home now? Is your sister working for the government? Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? And say, where are you working? And this has the information question. Where, what, who, why, when, uh, how. So you can use all the information questions, how many. For example, why are you studying English? Okay, why are you studying English? I'm studying, but because. Uh -huh. Because? Because I need a new job, because okay. I like uh, other culture, because, because? Because, because, exactly, right? You say because. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly the because uh, where I'm studying because I like it, because I need to get a better job, because it opens many doors. Because I learn about other people's culture, so that's why you know you can write a lot of reasons, right? Okay, but that is the reason. Because I need to improve my English. Because I need to improve my English, right? Okay, so we when you give a reason, but yes. you can also be more direct. Okay, so puede ser más directo y usar el propósito. Why do you study English? Why are you studying English? To improve it. Para mejorarlo. Improve. And not to give too many reasons, okay, but I say, for example, why are you learning English to get a better job? Why are you studying English to travel to the United States or to travel to study uh, in another country to get, a, to get a scholarship, okay? So then uh, because I want to speak and work, okay, good. So that is another one, right? So you say, because I want to get a better job, because I want to get a job, because I, because I, I need, want- mm -hmm. I need to learn another uh, pro uh, programs. I need to learn another program. About, uh, see? Uh, yeah. Another programs. Yes, also because I want to make a lot of money, like my teacher, because I want to be rich, okay? And make a lot of money, okay? Para ganar mi dinero fácil, right? Like the teacher does. <laughs> okay, no good. Yes, to make money. Yes, why not? Easy money. Easy money, to make easy money, right? Now the idea is, you know, for example, you can use a lot of uh, reasons, right? Some of them true, some of them probably not. There are many, uh, let's say, many ideas on how to use it. Another one. Uh, what are you thinking in this moment? What are you thinking? Lo primero que le venga a la mente. What are you thinking? I'm not going to work tomorrow. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Uh-huh. Okay. The schedule. The schedule. Okay, good. What else? What are you thinking? I want to sleep. You want to sleep? Okay. I'm thinking about a sleeping. It's a okay. hot night. That is hot. Yes, it's a hot night. Yes, it is hot. What else? I have to finish the platform. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Yes, I win. Excellent. Okay. You are a Duncan. No, no. Edwin is the, the role model. Okay. It's the model to seguir. Okay, role model to follow. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Okay. Extra points yes. for him. Same extra points for you, Edwin, right now, okay? And then one million uh, virtual dollars, okay? 
for you too. What else? <laughs> uh, what are you doing in this moment? What are you doing? Paying attention in the class. Paying attention in class, listening to you. Uh, <laughs> Da, dying of boredom, muriendo del aburrimiento. <laughs> dying of boredom. Dying, no. Eh, what else? No, eh, teacher. No, okay. Smiling, sonriendo, right? No. Smiling. Eh, what else? Falling as, falling Enjoying as, the class. Huh? Enjoying the class. Enjoying, Enjoying the, the class. class. <laughs> Practicing English. Okay. Teacher, I look in my little cat. I'm looking at my yes. little cat. Hey, look, uh, Ernesto is playing with his yes. dog. He's dreaming. Yes, Ernesto is playing with the dog. No, durmiendo. Uh, sleeping. 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 <laughs> sleeping. He's sleeping. 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 Right? Okay, what else? Your, your dog. Yes, okay, he's, he's hugging his dog. He's playing, right? He's playing with the dog. That's not one that you can use. Uh, what else? Uh, you, um, I am uh, thinking, I am listening, I am learning. Okay, this is, for example, what is happening. I am drinking my tea. Oh, that's delicious. But... Okay, drinking my tea. Yes. Um, what else? I am uh, thinking about tomorrow, thinking about my weekend. So this is, for example, what you are thinking about. Uh, what are you wearing in this moment? I am wearing a t-shirt. I am wearing a, a shirt, a light blue shirt. Okay, I am wearing a, let's say, a dress. I am wearing a blouse, a black blouse, a green blouse. I am wearing glasses too, okay? <laughs> so these are, for example, all the things that you can do when you are using what are you doing is the action in the moment uh, and sometimes also you can use it for uh, actividades que se están haciendo o sucesos que están eh, valga la redundancia sucediendo right uh, en estos días right for example you can say uh, you can say, eh, si ustedes vieran a alguien que no han visto en tiempo, el día de mañana, que no lo han visto unos 10 años, right? Eh, y esa persona les pregunta, hey, hello, how are you? What are you doing this day? ¿Qué haces en estos días, right? And they say, well, I'm studying English. Van a responder, estoy estudiando inglés, right? Aunque al momento de decirlo, no lo están haciendo. Okay. Pero es lo único que están haciendo desde cuándo? Desde hace dos meses, tres meses, y probablemente va a continuar. Ok. Pues estoy estudiando inglés. Y eso es igual en español. Right? Because in Spanish, you say, ¿Qué, y, ¿qué está haciendo ahora? Ah, las noches estoy estudiando inglés. Aunque en el momento de hablar o que les preguntan, no lo estén haciendo. Right? Esa es otra forma de usar el, el, el presente progresivo. Right? So, algo que se está haciendo, una actividad inter, inter, que no está siendo interrumpida eh, cotidianamente, right? What else? For, exa ah, for example, uh, what are you doing this day? Ah, I'm working on a very important project. Estoy trabajando en un proyecto bien importante. I'm working on a very important project. Okay? For example, what are you doing this day? And that one? Esa la pueden ver aquí. For example, is your sister working for the government? ¿Está su hermana trabajando para el gobierno? Okay, tal vez no es, por ejemplo, uh, are, who's working for the government here? They say, well, can we see? Uh -huh. Okay, who's working? Who's working for a school? Oh, I think uh, uh, Herman, Herman, right? Herman says that he's a math teacher and he's working in a public school, correct? Yes, Herman? Okay, yes. Yes, teacher. All right, so then Herman is working for the government. Okay, but in this moment, in this moment, he's studying English. All right? 
So you can, you, you see, you can use, se lo está trabajando para el gobierno, pero en este momento, is studying English. So, en las dos formas es correcto usar. Okay? So, what is the difference? Vean esto, ¿cuál es la diferencia? No. Look at the now, ajá, la palabra now, ahora. Okay, what are you doing in this moment? Okay. Y vean acá dice, where are you working now? ¿Dónde está trabajando ahora? Y aquí, what, are, what is your brother doing this day? ¿Qué hace tu hermano en estos días? ¿O qué está haciendo? Right? So this one is that one. Okay. Who are your parents visiting this week? ¿A quién visitarán? ¿O están visitando tus papás esta semana? Okay, so that is uh, uh, the progressive form. So I'm not working. I need a job. He's traveling in the Amazon. And they're visiting my grandmother. Question? No, teacher. No? Okay, good. So then the next one. Okay, here we have the construction. She works, subject and verb, and she is working, subject, the verb be, and the verb, and then the ing form. The difference between these two tenses now. This is how we ask yes, no questions in present continuous. Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in the discussion box. Okay. Okay, people, then, if you have no more questions, that's all for this week. Okay. That's all, that's all for this uh, That's all, folks. So we have four more classes, remember? Cuatro, cuatro classes más. Terminamos el otro viernes. Ah, oh, jueves, jueves, ok. Otro jueves viene eh, en la plataforma, ok. De la, bueno, ahorita por lo menos mínimo hasta la sección 4. Okay, la tarea 4 de estar hecho. Y este, si pueden avanzar más, ok, no problem. Ok, nice people. Have a very nice weekend. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Have a happy weekend. Thank you, you too. And see you next week. See you next week.